Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of the step-by-step -step guide to complete the Millicent Chain quest. If you want to start the quest from the beginning, please see my earlier video. Link is also mentioned in the description. We begin the visit gallery in the shack again after Millicent leaves. Oh, you noticed, did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of a home. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. As I've aged, I've found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten. After talking to him, we make our way to Erdtree Gazing Hill Graceside. We talk to Melissa there and she mentions she needs an arm. Ah, we meet again. In truth, Scarlet Rot has stilled since last we met, as such. I've been able to continue my journey, though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Now I'm tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Caled Wilds. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Now, I'm tracing that she's passed into the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Once talking is done, we set out to the Shaded Castle from the same grace site. Quick walkthrough of where you will find her arm.
Once you have her arm, we talk to her again and she accepts it. Now, I'm tracing the path Melania took. She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Are you giving me this arm? Thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. If the arm serves, it might be possible. Perhaps the. If the arm, it might be possible for me to. Perhaps then I can aid you. In then we go to the windmill hides up. There is a world boss in the village. I had already killed it while traversing the land, so she was just standing there. You just have to head northeast to find this village from the Earth Tree Gazing Hillside. Ah, oh, we meet yet again. The arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. I would have you call upon me in battle. Should you ever have the need, it is the only way that I can express my thanks. I would have you call upon- It is the only- Once you talk to her here, we teleport to the snowy mountainside called the Ancient Snow Valley Ruins. I have detailed guides on how to get there from Lendil. Please refer to those videos if you want to make your way here. To think we'd meet in such a place, what could your purpose possibly- no. I know well enough who you are. And what I know is good enough for me. Call upon me again. In battle. Should you have the need. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard the master of the fort was given a medallion that allowed him to visit the Halig tree. Indeed. I believe that is where Melania will be found. The Halic tree is hidden somewhere in these northern lands. I'm searching for a fort to- I heard the master of the fort. Once your dialogue with her ends, we now head to Halic tree site where we defeated Loretta. Again, a detailed guide on how to get to Halic tree is in my earlier video from today. Please refer to that for directions give a small walkthrough of how we get to the next part where we meet her, that is, in the prayer room. are aligned in which case allow me to explain myself i am of melania's blood but in what capacity i know not i could be sister daughter or an offshoot whatever the case though i am certain of a kinship between us there is something i must return to melania the will that was once her own the dignity the sense of self that allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot, the pride she abandoned, to meet Radan's measure. There is something I must the will for the dignity. Once we exhaust her dialogues here, we head to the final part of the quest. I give the easiest route to the next two grey sides where we end this quest.
This would help getting you there quickly. Now I show you how to easily take down the rot worm.
Once done, we come back here for the final duel and help Millicent with full flasks. I show an easy method to win the duel. We rest and come back to talk to Millicent. Oh. Hello. Thank you for lending your hand. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person. But this is where things end. I pause to even tell you, but I took out the needle myself. Tell whoever put you up to this that if I am to flower into something other than myself, I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Please, let me pass alone. The Scarlet Rot writhes now, worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh, curse-laden, untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. Please, the Scarlet Rot soon, curse-laden. I wouldn't want... Once the dialogue gets over, we reset again and come back. She's dead this time, and this is how the quest ends. Please subscribe to the channel for getting notification of the upcoming boss fights. Thanks for watching.